Hey witches, so today's video is going to be a little bit shorter video than usual because today I'm actually doing witchcraft stuff. So tonight is the night of the new moon and also side note, I was on the Witch Wednesdays podcast again. Um, so check out my like episode, I overshared once again. Um, but it's it was a really fun experience. I hope to be on it like in the future again. It was really nice to be able to talk to like another advanced practitioner about witchcraft and like it really felt like we were speaking the same language the whole time, which is always something that is like nice and like heartwarming. Um, um, so definitely check it out. I'm gonna link it down below and it's also in my link tree and stuff. So um, Anyways, that, now that that's out of the way again, I just I know this is gonna be a little bit shorter of a video Tonight is the night of the new moon So I am going to be doing some intention setting and the new moon is a time that is sacred to Hecate so um I am going to be doing a couple different things. I'm not going to be filming all of it because there are some very personal things that I will be doing. Um, I'll describe it on here, but it feels weird to like film it and I don't really want to do that. Um, but Hecate is one of her offerings. I will be giving her um, my menstrual blood. So for those of you who do menstruate, um, that is something that can be used in witchcraft. You see people calling it moon blood, but like I just feel like that's a little, like, I don't know, it's a little bit on the nose for me. I prefer like a more scientific and clinical term, but that's just me. It does seem a little bit more mystical, so sometimes I'm just like, yes, it is like my connection with the moon energies. But in reality, I'm on like a pill that just dictates all of that, so it has nothing to do with the moon. However, um, I will be um, giving that as an offering um, during the new moon for Hecate, so as a way of saying thanks um, for her pushing me to to really just start my life and become this professional witch that I've been talking about wanting to do since the beginning of this project and the beginning of this year. So that's something I'm going to be doing. Um, and that's a really big ritual for me. So I'm really kind of working up to that um, and getting into that ritual headspace. As part of that, I will also be cleaning up my entire witch room. So you'll see that probably on TikTok tonight, hopefully. Um, and that's gonna be like a devotional act to her is really just getting my shit together. Um, and I will also be honorating, uh, honorating, honoring and venerating my other deities. Of course, I always try to be like equal when it comes to working with all of them. Um, and I will try to take a picture of my altar and put it on Instagram. I might not, I don't know, just depending on how personal the ritual gets. Often when it comes to ritual working, I know what I'm gonna do like day of and not before. So um, I, I'm filming this a little bit beforehand. If you are interested and if I do post anything, it'll be on Instagram and TikTok. So um, this is just your reminder that the new moon is here and because it is a dark moon and it is um, like October and it's really spooky, this is a really great time to start setting your intentions for the new New year. So what do I mean by that? You're like, it's October. What are you talking about? Samhain is the witch's new year, which means that we kind of see the year going from Samhain to Samhain. Kind of easy concept, I think. Kind of hard to explain, I guess, because uh, it's so simple. Um, but we see the, or at least I see, and a lot of other witches who do practice the same way I do, or similar ways at least, um, see Samhain um, as the day that the veil is the thinnest. So that is when we are most likely to be able to connect with the spirit world, with the, our deities, with everything. So, um, a, and it's also really spooky and amazing. So we see Samhain as that kind of like reminder that like death is a thing, uh, but also that life is coming. And you know, yeah, we're gonna be in a, some dark times for right now, but we should still celebrate and celebrate the harvest and get ready for spring to come back. So I know it seems kind of strange to be celebrating the new year in October, but I do it. It's the same as doing it in January. Like I still drink champagne on, on January 1st and I still do a tarot reading on January 1st. However, for Samhain, I have a whole, ritual already cooking in my brain um and I'm, I'm kind of excited for that so that one's going to be a lot more involved I think um anyways so super off topic I'm so I'm I'm so sorry guys um that's what happens when I don't like write an entire script <laughs> um but anyways today is the full moon I would love to hear about your ritual workings and like if you are doing anything if you would like to manifest anything in the comments down below I will like totally send you some positive energy um but other than that it's a new moon and it's gonna be awesome we are starting a new lunar cycle and there's so much beautiful things that are coming so many beautiful things that are coming your way um I just know it so anyways that is enough for me enough rambling for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.